So we, are, we did, I think, talk about interfaces a little bit. Does that ring a bell with y'all? Right. And so the idea behind an interface is, uh, like, I, I learned about abstract classes and interfaces. And we don't have abstract classes in Go. But I learned about that in Java. And so um, an interface is uh, all abstract methods. And what does that mean? So drop all that Java stuff. And basically an interface is like uh, allows two things to work together. And so the best, you know, one of the most common interfaces that we have is like uh, the godoc.org. And then uh, I think it's under, it's either IO or OS. I'm going to go with IO. Um, IO, readers and writers, right? Yeah. And so uh, IO reader interface, where's a read, read full? IO reader right here. So there's the reader, and then here's the writer, right? And so here's the reader interface, and there's the writer interface. And so if something Im implements the writer interface, right? So here's the writer interface. It has this method. So let's take a look at something that has that method. And we have godoc.org. Uh, Funt has a lot of stuff in there with that method, right? And or some stuff in there with that method. So here is a uh, f print f, or right? all the f print stuff. F print right here, and you can see all that f print stuff. It takes a writer, okay? It'll accept a writer. So you could pass anything that has uh, that method into into f print f. Um, and like just normal print line, right? No, it's not taking a writer, but this one takes a writer right there. And so uh, what could you pass into that? Well, one of the things you could pass into that would be Just looking for, uh, you know, we use that here. Let me just look it up this way. All right. So both write string and f print f take a writer interface, and connection a connection implements that. So if I look at connection, all right? What is connection? Uh, connection is. A net connect right there. And so what is that? Here's the type connection and it's an interface and it has this method. So because I know that's kind of like a convoluted thing, but it's something that you kind of have to just sort of think through. But if something has the writer, if something has this method, it automatically implements the writer interface. You don't need to say, you know, specifically say, oh, this implements this interface now. So long as if you have a type, so here, here I'm finding the way to say it clearly. If you have a type and it has a certain method, that could qualify it to automatically be implementing a certain interface. Anything that then takes that interface can take that type, right? So since, since this has this method, anything that takes the, and that's the definition for what a, to, imp, to implement the writer interface, you have to have that method. So this is now implementing both the writer interface and the reader interface, which makes sense. A connection can read and write, right? Uh, now, anything that takes a reader or a writer can take a connection. You could just stick a connection into that. And so, you know, here, this, this takes, right? These both take a connection. So I could use either of them to, you know, those both take a writer. So I could use either of them and pass in a connection because connection implements the writer interface. So it just you know, allows things to kind of like be Lego building block. These fit together. These work together. It's kind of like interfaces say, you know, if you have this thing, then you, I can use you. And it does use it. And so when, when this implements, this is, this is saying IO write string, and it, it's asking not for a reader but for a writer, right? And so when it, when it gets this, it's like, okay, what is your implementation of the, the write, writer interface? Right? It has that method there, but if we dug down into connection, like somewhere we'd find where it's actually implementing this. And then it will use the way that this type implemented that to implement right the way it wanted to be implemented. And to do that, it has to take a slice of bytes. It does whatever it does to the code. And then 
he returns this, right? And so, you know, and you know, maybe a lot of that stuff's pretty standardized, but but that's that's what that does. Sure. Yeah. Maybe a different interface could have a different signature, different parameters, and different returns. So it's still the same method. It's it could right ha now. have the same name, but it'd be a completely different method, right? So to implement uh, an interface is defined by the methods it has, and the methods are defined by their signature. All right. That's the signature defines. Um, so uh, it takes a little bit of time to wrap your head around an interface, but so long as right now you see like. So let me just ask you a question. Um, what's the question I want to ask you to help make it clear? Well, I guess the blank. question was go back to the right the definition of the right method there, and uh, what it takes and what it uh, returns. Are those identical wherever you find that method and in whatever interface you're finding? It? Yeah. So what implements uh, the writer interface, right? Um, so uh, let's look. So writer interface, we saw that here under right there, and it needs this signature, right? So we could copy that, and now we could just look here in NetHttp, and we could search for that signature, that method, nothing. But what about in format? We could search for that, nothing. <laughs> and I know that that's in in there. Isn't there something? It takes a writer. So net HTTP is it, is connection in here? Uh, it's net. It's just net. So net. Let's go look in there. Control F. B nothing. Um, right. Maybe it needs a slice P. Connection. Connection interface. I don't know why it wasn't finding that. I was just searching for that. All right, so it found it that time. What about here? Anything? Nothing. I.O.? Nothing. Yeah, so what's your question? It's the same there as it is in the other, in the other interface. Yeah. Well, like, this is a type. This is type con. So this is kind of like what I do at home, try to like figure out the clearest pathway. So let's go back through here and see if there's some code that actually sort of, um, so it's a type which defines a set of methods. And, uh, and so here we have shape, you know, type shape, which is an interface and it needs to have this method area float 64. Okay, so we're just defining another one here, right? And so this, this interface is shape and it needs to have the method area with no parameters that returns float 64. And so here is an implementation. Type circle is a struct, type square is a struct. So struct is a structure that just has a collection of fields. What's up, Bonnie? Um, I was wondering if you noticed. So, you know, we got two structs, and then we have this interface defined, and then we attach a method to the circle type, and we attach a method to the square type, and each one we're attaching the method area that returns a float 64. They're both implemented. Each of these are implemented different, right? But because they have this signature area returns float 64, they are both now implementing the shape interface, right? I'm so glad that we came to the slide deck. <laughs> and, and now anything that takes a shape right here, right? I could say it takes a shape. I could pass in, so measure. I could pass in a circle and I could pass in a square, right? Because they both implement that interface. That's a pretty good example. That help you kind of wrap your head around it. And they both have they both implement it with different functionality, right? And but when but when you know measure runs and it says hey print print the area right, it's going to call the the area method for the square if it's the square or the circle if it's a circle run that functionality and give me the area of the square, give me the area of the circle. Yeah. Is that awesome? They're not there. They're not there. They split. But Here. either way, if you can just make sure somebody uses the ticket, I don't care. It's tonight. Okay, I I'll don't give have it anybody to you. for it. Yeah. We just gave one away. 
Yeah, I'll give it to Rio before she heads out. Oh, there you go. Cool. Yeah, right. She's, 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 she's there, going down there. there. I thought it was in there, though. I thought yeah. I had stuck it in like a bookmark because Joan gave it to me when I was on. I was trying to remember, and I've looked like everywhere else, so I think that's where it is. And it's not right. a oh, oh, that's cool. That's life. So, dude, you get so chill with that stuff after you've been a parent. It's, it's like a nice thing. It's like, keep going. all right. Uh, so that, uh, the, do you, do you kind of, that, that solidify yeah. interfaces a little bit? That helps a lot. All right. So let's go back to looking at our HTTP stuff.